Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by, I certainly do appreciate it. Today's beer comes from Southern Tier Brewing. These guys are up in New York. This is their Nitro Cream Brulee. Mmm, sounds tasty. I picked this up at the craft beer store to get some final beer of the evenings to review because uh, I've been sending a lot of other beers and, and not a lot of stouts or, or porters or anything like that. So I picked up some stuff. Uh, to have something to do the final beer of the evening, which this is for me. This is the final beer of the evening for me. Uh, this is a 10 percenter. And it has, Untapped has it at 50 IBUs. And they say Southern Terrace Blackwater Series unleashes its popular flavor, cream brulee and nitro. With notes of vanilla and caramel, this style is sweet, creamy, and uncannily true to the namesake dessert uh, so we shall see and it is a nitro can so it, I'm gonna try to pour it as quick as I can into the glass get that nitro effect and everything going on here guys so bear with me here and on the bottom of it it says best by 092421 so it looks like to me they're probably giving it at least a year shelf life so uh, doesn't it, it doesn't doesn't feel like the can is full, so I'm hoping it's not leaking and it's not flat, so. No, I don't think it is. Not so much nitro effect on it, though. But it had a big pop and a big hiss there. A little bit of nitro effect going on, a cascading effect going on there. And it's a 12-ounce can here, guys, so uh, I'm not going to fill that glass up. Uh, good looking beer. About a half a glass with that. I guess it's a 12 ounce can. No, 9.6 fluid ounces. It's a little smaller. I thought it looked a little shallow in the glass there. Not much. Not much. And it's not a cheap beer to buy either. So, uh, I don't remember what I paid for it. I didn't go look, uh, but it wasn't cheap. Yeah, so... Uh, it is pitch black, about a finger of head on that pour. It's a good looking beer, but not much in that can. To the nose we go. Mm, a little bit of butterscotch going on in this, and might be some diacetyl going on there. I wasn't expecting a big butterscotch note on it, and it's got it. Wow, that's a shame. What a shame. Rich roasted malt, it might be a hint of some caramel and toppy. But it's got big butterscotch notes too, and it shouldn't be there. You shouldn't have big butterscotch notes on a, on a dark beer like this. And that happens occasionally. I mean, anybody's watched me for a while, it happens occasionally. And it's there. There is some diacetyl going on in this beer. So, it's what it is. Mmm. Oh well. It's what it is. Butterscotch is off the chain, guys. Wow. Maybe it'll die down a little bit, but there's just way too much butterscotch notes on this beer. It should not be there. They should ferment out. The nose is heavy with butterscotch, and the taste is heavy with butterscotch. Mm. 
Mm. That's like putting a piece of butterscotch candy in your mouth. And it should not be there. You should not be tasting that, guys. I should not be tasting that. So, probably won't buy this one again. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back with something on for a while. Okay, lacing left in the glass. I gave it to the other half, and she smelled immediately. Butterscotch, like somebody dropped a whole bag of butterscotch candy in this. It's still there, guys. Uh, the, it's not as potent now that it's warmed up a little bit than it was when I first poured it out of the can. But heavy diacetyl butterscotch aromas and taste on this beer. I, I don't think that should be there. The cream brulee is coming out a little bit more now than it was originally, but still, the butterscotch taste is dominating everything. Uh, this is probably one of the. This is. This is a bad batch as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it's not going to hurt you, uh, but you're going to get this, this one. I'm getting big butterscotch notes. And I don't know if that's part of the cream brulee thing. I don't think it should be or is. But this one, this particular can has got the big butterscotch notes to it. And that's a sign of diacetyl. That's when, when you smell a stout. Uh, and it's, it has that big butterscotch notes, aromas, and taste. That's diacetyl, guys. Uh, I mean, it should not be there. It should ferment out. Uh, and this one has not. So, it's not It's not a bad beer, but it's not a, definitely not an A beer, in my opinion. The one I have here is not. So, I don't choke. This is a B beer. This is what I'm going to give it. 85, guys. This is a heavily diacetyl taste and aromas. <clears throat> they should not be there. They should absolutely not be there. You should not be getting those notes uh, from this beer. So, I got a bad one here, guys. Sorry. I call it as I see it and smell it and drink it. This one is a bad one. Hopefully, uh, the other batches, or maybe I got a bad can, or I don't, I don't know what to tell you, but this one was not impressive, and I probably won't buy it again. Not anytime soon, anyway. Uh, Beer Advocate has it at 92, not going there, and Untapped has it at 4.13. That's their A minus scale, also not going there. This one was definitely not an A beer to me, guys. So it's lucky it doesn't even get a C scale on this one uh, but it does have the ABV on it and it, it wasn't bad to drink but the butterscotch I mean that's all I'm giving basically is the butterscotch aroma and taste and the other half did too uh, so here's what it is so if you've had the nitro cream brulee from Southern Hair Brewery let me know what you think till we meet again let's go see what's in the fridge